Hey everybody, Bo here with an update on our 6x14 cargo trailer conversion Rolling Thunder cabin on wheels. So this is our uh, maiden voyage. We made it out to Jackson Lake State Park and uh, it's been nice. It's our second night. Last night we had a lot of fun but uh, we did run out of power. I think we left the uh, fantastic fan on, didn't realize it. That thing sucks up the juice. The LEDs hardly use anything, and even the uh, stereo doesn't use that much. But anyway, we have a backup for everything, so we just used uh, lanterns and stuff like that. And we still had gas so we could cook, still had the grill, so that wasn't a problem. The screen door is working out. When you open up the back, if it's warm, it just... Uh, the airflow is amazing. And then when it's really windy, of course you gotta keep it shut. So we've been uh, almost like doing a wind test with this 10 by 10 canopy. Uh, it's, it held up pretty good, so I'm happy about that. And then uh, later on, I will take you on inside and we'll take a look at that and some of the updates there. Here's the back cantina. Easy access to the cooler, food table. The grill unfortunately did not work on there, so we're gonna figure out a table or something, which I wanna add to the mix because it's always good to have one of those uh, folding tables that you can put out and use it for multi-purposes. You can use it to dine on, you can use it to cook on, uh, how about that view, huh? Well, there's our cantina. That's how the back, keeping everything simple, as light as possible. That's what the name of the game of, uh, for us has been. Budget and uh, keeping it light so that we can pull it. But it is simple, cozy, and roomy for us. For two people, it's perfect. You know, if you have a bigger family, then you have to figure out bunks and stuff like that but there's so many different things that you can do with these cargo trailers uh, it's only up to you with your ideas so I hope these are giving you some more ideas because I know when I was researching I couldn't get enough of videos of what people did Well, we have officially moved in, and let me tell you, that is fun stuff, getting everything in and making sure you keep your weight check, in check, I should say. But uh, we pulled it, 
and it worked well we were 60 miles an hour no problem but little art on the inside and it's cozy the kitchen's been working out great plenty of storage well there you have it that's what it looks like lived in a little bit porta potty's working out good that's for my wife as an emergency as well as a pee place it's nice having it in here because then we don't have to run to the uh porta potty or whatever but uh the thing works great it doesn't stink it flushes and uh so far so good well there's your update Hope you like the view. So easy idea. When the back alley's open, the back cantina I should call it, uh, the air just flows through here really nice. Well, this is one of those magnetic screens that I have on the front door and I just put it sideways and it goes down and uh, under the bed. And this is also designed so that you can uh, flip it up on top and get it out of the way and you can sit at the uh, back alley table from the inside and it's real comfortable. Hey, well, anyway, this is Bo, and I want to thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to see what's next for us with this uh, cargo trailer conversion as we keep updating the outside and adding some new features, uh, please subscribe. Thanks again. See ya!